members of my family are patriotic. The American flag flies 24 hours a day at my home and at my shop. Earlier this year, I was asked if I could help one of the youth groups that I volunteer with. The girls in this group have to carry around an American flag on a heavy wooden staff. When they're a preteen or, or a young teenager, this can be quite heavy and, and hard to, uh, to wield. These girls often have to stand for 10, 15 minutes. So I agreed and uh, obtained a aluminum flag staff, a new flag and a holder. I delivered these in July to the group and they were quite happy to receive them. The girls enjoyed carrying the lighter weight staff and flag. However, when everything was said and done and they were getting ready to transport the flag back to its storage unit, I noticed that they had no way to properly store it that was going to prevent it from being damaged. The eagle on top was most likely going to get broken pretty soon. So I devised a plan where I would uh, build a storage cabinet for this. I returned the flag staff and holder to my shop and for the next couple of months I agonized over how to build a storage unit. The video you're about to see shows some of the process I used for building the storage box for the American flag that this youth group now will use. I have to apologize, I lost some of the pictures at the beginning of this series. Um, chalk it up to a new guy when it comes to videotaping. So I hope you enjoy this and watch for the little piece at the end. As I said, I lost a lot of video and a lot of photographs of this build. Amateur, right? So at this point I added the saddle and the cradles and the parts that would support the staff and the flag and the eagle and keep everything from getting damaged. Uh, also kind of act as support to the box itself to keep it from collapsing from any number of reasons. And after that was all done, I added uh, the paint which was two coats of enamel, white enamel, to uh, 
give it a hardened shell. Um, also, less chance of the paint actually rubbing off onto other items as it might get rubbed around. So, more likely, it probably just get uh, chipped off, but uh, those can easily be touched up. Um, so, there you go. And on with the video, we're going to pick up where I start building the cushions and the felt uh, additions before finally getting into the hardware. Enjoy.